Hi, this is Nigel coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Today, the 14th of January, 2012. I'm here at Gels Park, and today is a kite flying festival. So we're here, Paul Harris and myself, walking around filming and uh, talking to some of the kite flyers. Hi, I'm uh, Devendra, the president of the Gujarati Association of Victoria. Uh, today we are having a work, kite flying event. Uh, I will introduce you to Rajiv Sukla, who is the organizer of the event. This is an auspicious day for everyone because this is the day when the sun starts from the south and makes its journey towards the north, which, according to the religious beliefs, means that the god who have gone into slumber during the winter time are now waking up on this day and it's time for the harvest. In the past, the kings uh, used to celebrate this by flying kites and uh, they used to hire professional kite flyers who would uh, fly these kites and cut one another's kite to show the power a king would possess. During this festival, the families and friends would gather together, make it a social outing, make it a picnic out of it, and enjoy the kite flying and just have fun throughout the whole day. I'm here at the moment with Nimesh, and Nimesh is a very enthusiastic kite flyer today. I spotted him in the crowd. He was uh, flying kites with his son, and he was really having a ball. So, <laughs> hi. Hello, Nimesh, Nigel. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Yes, Nigel. Yeah, now just tell me a little bit about yourself. Where, where are you from in India? Uh, I am from Baroda. Uh, now they call Varodra in Gujarat. In Gujarat. And, right. uh, it's a nice city, small town, but you know, very, very famous for kite flying. Oh, that's why you're such an expert. Uh, re not huh? really expert, but uh, you know, I love and you know, I have a passion from my childhood. Yeah. And yeah. it is one of the amazing festival, what you can say. Yeah. yeah. And kids can love it. When I was a kid, I have enjoyed. I was missing out in Melbourne. But today is a day where you know I can recall my memories. Oh, that's great! And that's at the great. same time, I can share with my kids as well. Yeah. So, are you a member of the Gujarat yeah, Society? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a member of Gujarati Association of Victoria (GAV) mm. we call. Right. And uh, you know they have organized today kite flying day, and yeah. uh, I'm really proud about you know myself that I'm here. Yeah. And uh, you know enjoying with my full family, mm. Mm. and uh, teaching my son how to you know technique of. Yeah, and kite flying yeah. as well. And do you think it's it's part of your culture, the kite flying? Oh, kite flying is uh, you know one of the best festival. Why we call because uh, today is the day where you can uh, you know what you call it is not a skill that you know how you fly, mm. but it is the things where you know you can you can share with your friends and you know open the sky yeah. you know yeah. the sky yeah. and you know it's amazing uh, you know. So it's all festival. about participation and participation getting together. Participation and you know like uh, just. Don't don't consider yourself, uh, you know, individually. Mm. Celebrate with the, among everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tejal yes. and Aniri. Yeah. And what does your name mean in English, Aniri? Unique. unique. That's beautiful. Unique. Unbelievable. Very unique. So, um, just tell us a little bit about the kite and okay. the way that you tie the kite, because it looks like it's quite specialised. Okay. Kite we made in India. We made for from paper mm -hmm. and also we made from plastic, oh, okay. thin plastic. Yep. And in India we have different different types of like shapes in our kite. And what we do, uh, we need to make hole. See at the back. Oh, it's it, got it's little hole. bamboo. Yeah. Yep. So and then we we have to make two holes on the top. Like one is on the top here and one is under. Yep. And the another two is just next to each other. Oh right, yeah. And then we have to. With, with this string, we have to tidy up and then... So it goes a, equal, does yeah, it? Yeah. One that way? Yeah, you have to make sure. Oh, I see. There's, that's the reason kite has to be balanced. And that puts it, it in the middle. Yeah. I see, okay. Yeah. All right. So we tidy up and then yeah. it's ready to fly. And it doesn't have a tail like some of the other no, more no, European... No, if it's like when you, when you fly and if you feel that it's not straight in the sky because of heavy wind or anything, mm -hmm. we can make, we can attach the whole... Oh, you can put a long tail yeah, on it. Long oh, tail, that's and it, good. it helps to balance the kite if it's very windy. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Now I've seen some people they bend the kite on their around their head a little bit. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Not sure about no, that. Basically, the, you know what you call. Oh it? yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, not because the if yeah, the other way, because the kite is not like it's moving here and yeah. there. So what they do, they just 
try to balance like they do like this oh, no. <laughs> and it helps it helps with the balance oh, it's right, all okay. to balance yeah yeah definitely i can see because it's not a very big kite is it yeah no, no. yeah so it could easily sort yeah. of spin well, out of balance yeah. And... yeah fantastic and one more thing is nimesh has mentioned everything about hmm. our festival yeah but one thing is what he forgot is the food with card flying day we prepare special food. oh special food yes ah. it is kitchen department that's why yeah. <laughs> You can't think of everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and the um, the bit that holds the string. Do you want to tell us about that, young lady? Yeah. What's that called? This is called a filky. Yeah. And if you want to do a break, you, um, and the string's going like to the person that's doing the cut, you have to keep your hands like this to do the break. Oh, that's important. Yeah. Yeah, you got to give. So your job is to what? Give them the string. Yeah, give them the string. And That's good. That's good. Thanks for that. All right, guys. Thanks very much for spending the time with us. Thank you. Thank you. And have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Gujarati Association of Victoria, I'd just like to thank everybody here today who've come in, shown the strength, have come here to enjoy themselves, and thanks again.